Hi, I'm Kimberly Bates with the Evaluator Group, and I'm here with Randy Kearns, our senior strategist. Thank you very much for joining us. So, Randy, we do quite a bit of work with um, our large IT clients and their acquisitions of solid state. And they're going through evaluation, they're asking us what should they be thinking about. One of the curious things we did is like, what are the top three things, or maybe the top issue that they have that kind of come in with a misconception? Yeah, it's actually probably not their fault because it's certainly promoted by a lot of people. Yeah. And they look at the acquisition cost, which is, and measure it by something like a dollars per gigabyte. And really that's a data at rest measure. It doesn't represent anything about the value of the system or the value of your data that's on there. So that's a real mistake. Another one, you should really uh, look at it and say, what's the value that gives me? How much more work can I get done? And that could be transactions per second, number of workloads I support, mm -hmm. et cetera. Another issue is that they think about flash storage as only for the most critical high performance applications. And quite frankly, that's the way we started everything in normally talking about it, because it was expensive. But we found as it's gotten cheaper, that people have got great value from consolidating multiple workloads to those platforms. They can now get much greater benefit, and then they can physically consolidate their environment. So that's worth quite a bit of money to them in terms of savings. Yeah, absolutely, and, and you can just shrink their footprint down. You can shrink the number of things you have to manage, the number of data protection uh, operations you have to do. Lots of things get simpler. Are there any other misconceptions? Yeah, there's, there's one that's fairly common, and a lot of people think that, hey, I'm put Flash in, it solves all my performance problems. Well, uh, we found from the, the research study that's not necessarily the case. There's a couple things we found that stood out that were glaring. One is many of them found that their applications, in, in many cases these were custom-built applications, were the actual bottleneck in getting more work done. I had it made the storage admins kind of little... Well, it they, was not my problem. <laughs> well, but they had to be the ones to go prove that, yeah. so it's a lot of work there. But, but the big issue they found is a lot of the applications were written to take advantage of latencies or, mm -hmm. or expected latencies in the spinning disk environment. So they could be uh, changed to get more performance. Certainly there were some networking issues. One other aspect that people make some bad assumptions about is that they, they forget that the solid state storage is really a memory technology. So the memory technology is going to give you great advantages in random I.O. If it's a sequential operation, it won't have as many. The latency to get started will be much less, but after that you'll devolve into the bandwidth of what your interface transfers. And so the advantages of the solid state in long sequential transfers won't be as dramatic. Well, thank you, Randy, very much. And thank you very much for listening. We'll catch you the next time.